Pursuit and welcome back to my channel. So I thought I'd remake this video because number one, we're in a pandemic and we're in COVID. And number two, I feel like it's very necessary to kind of, not necessary, but I feel like women update their purses often because women constantly have different needs at different times. I feel like it's very important for women to kind of realize what they have and what they need at that time with them. So with that being said, I'm gonna do a part two to what's in my purse. Now, I also obviously have a different purse this time than I did in the last video. I had gotten one purse after that video was made, before obviously this video. And it is a little Michael Kors bag, it was a bit smaller than the one I had in my last video, and I couldn't fit everything I needed post-COVID. So I needed to get something that's a bit bigger and more convenient. And the last one, I felt like it was too much like a travel tote, and I felt like it was too big. So having this purse is an amazing switch, I feel like it's boxy and I like kind of that boxy style, I guess. So with that being said, I'm just gonna dive right in to see what's in this little good girl. I'm kind of thinking of what I need to add because I just got this purse earlier this week. So first off, I don't carry with like this first item with me all the time, but I try to have it when I can is my planner, my calendar, my journal. This is my business journal. So I keep like receipts and stuff that I need in here. I have certain appointments, I guess that I need to put in here and usually I put it onto there so I actually see it and pass by it but if I'm right next to my computer a lot of the time this journal is it like next to my computer anyway so it's more convenient with me I think the main times that I have the physical journal with me is if I'm not gonna be home overnight or for a couple of nights. So I like to have that physically with me. Either that or I just put an appointment on my phone and then end up putting it on there and the calendar. So I don't carry that calendar specifically with me everywhere, but I like to have it near me at my desk just so I could put appointments with me. But again, it depends. Sometimes it's in my purse, sometimes it's not. The necessities right now is masks and hand sanitizer. This is the spray on version. I also have a sanitizer are my keys, which is usually in my purse lane. Let me grab my keys. I showed my keys in the last video, so why not show it this time? This is the other sanitizer I'm telling you guys about. And you guys would have seen this in my Bath and Body Works video, which I should also check out. But I usually have my keys and my masks and my sanitizer in my purse. I think those are like the main things to have with you at all times now. Everyone is making that joke of keys, wallet, phone, where like all the memes were centered of what you needed to, the essentials of like what you needed to leave the house with. And now masks are added to the list. You know, it's that meme where it's like, oh, F, I forgot my mask. Obviously my wallet. I think I have a different wallet than I did in my last video, funny enough. I got this wallet when I got my last purse because it matched the coloring. The last purse I got was a Michael Kors purse and it was brown as well. So it was a lot more compact and made more sense to kind of have the matching. Well, although now it doesn't really matter, I guess, because my purse is bright baby blue. The only other thing I have besides obviously the essentials and the calendar obviously there's this little bag and this smaller bag has other essentials i feel like i need when i'm on the move one thing i should add to this are feminine products that women go through the monthly stuff you, girls you know what i'm saying i should add that to this but a lot of my bath and body works products are in here so um let me show you instead of just I have lotion in here. I have multiple lotions in here just so that if anyone needs it on hand, I have it. What else do I have in here? I have sprays. If anyone wants to spray and smell good, I actually have shower gel in here. And I have a, like a big, it's on the bottom. I'm gonna, mm, let me see if I can get to it. I have a bigger thing of deodorant in here. I feel like deodorant is one of those things that like you don't tend to realize you need until you need it kind of thing. Let me like, let me explain is that like I feel like I'm one of those people where I realize I need it if I'm at a concert or a sports event or somewhere where I'm putting my arms up a lot and my mic just fell. I feel like I need deodorant a lot when I'm at concerts, sports events, stuff like that where I'm having my arms up, cheering, moving, singing, whatever, and I'm being really physical and I feel like deodorant's very necessary. Although we're in a pandemic, we won't need it as much, but still. Another thing and another reason why I feel like I carry all this is because here's the thing. Growing up, my family was always the kind of family where it's like, we do very, very, very last minute vacation 
between trips and stuff. So let me give a new example. When I was graduating high school, my mom and I were touring colleges. And I was, still in, I was planning on going to community college before actually applying to UCs and stuff. So regardless, I was going to community college. But I wanted to see what colleges I wanted to apply to later for my future, obviously where I am now. And I was touring a college that's about an hour or two away from where I am. You know, we saw the college and everything. And then we were getting onto the freeway and we saw, obviously it said the freeway we were on and then San Francisco right under it. And mom was like, Nikki, let's go to San Francisco. So we literally like drove, probably we were like halfway to San Francisco and we stopped at a Target and had to rebuy a lot of the things we would have gotten at home if we would have packed, like deodorant, shampoo, stuff like that. So I feel like it's really important for people to have like those last minute things. So if you make those last minute plans, it's convenient for you to have them. Also, I feel like a lot of my friends when we go out to like you know we went out to Dave and Buster's a lot so a lot of my friends and I would always hang out and stuff and some of my friends would ask for if I had any of those things like lotion perfume and stuff like that so kind of being the motherly person here <laughs> of having the convenience of those things in my purse but I feel like I need to add the feminine products for myself too like it's always necessary to carry those feminine products on you emergencies you know they happen i mean what have you guys added or taken out of your guys's purses now that it's covid and now that this has happened i want to know like comment down below what you girls or guys i know some guys carry man purses and stuff if you guys carry a bag with you what do you guys put in it what is your go-to things now because i know a lot of mine has changed as well i know definitely like i carry more sanitizer with me i carry extra masks with me it's so funny because now I have like masks along my driver, you know, where I use the signal. <laughs> I probably have at least five or six masks hanging off my little signal dingle, I guess. I don't think that's the right word, but anyway. I have a ton of masks so that if I'm driving and I forget, I have an extra in the car. Or if I'm with friends and I bring my purse with me, I have extra masks with me in my purse just so I have it with me everywhere I go. So what things have changed once COVID had started? What do you carry in your purse now? I really want to hear what you guys have to say. Beyond that, I hope you guys check out my new channel. It's called Functional Fridays. Episode one had already been released and this Friday is going to be a new episode. It's going to be with my friend Ilana. We're talking about dating and stuff in that episode. So please go check out this week's episode of Functional Fridays and don't forget to go subscribe to me there. I'm trying to make it so both channels are getting equal love. And if you guys don't know what my channel is about, it's a little podcast podcast channel I decided to make called Functional Fridays where I talk about real life stuff, I talk about everyday things, I talk about new jobs that people have, and so on and so forth. And this episode two that I'm going to be releasing this Friday is about dating and experiences of dating and all of that good stuff. So I hope you guys go check out that. Again, please comment what you guys have changed regarding purse situations. <laughs> and I hope to see you guys next time. I hope you have a good day, a good night, a good slumber whenever you're watching this. And I Hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.